As a musician, how often do you ask how your sound is? Do I like my tone? Does it speak volumes of my own voice? And do things ever really change when we switch out pickups or preamps or amplifiers? I'm classically the kind of guy who usually says, not really, but also tone is everything. So the bass I'm playing today is a result of an experiment to try and combine two of the greatest basses on the planet of Earth, the Spectre and the Wall. Spectre makes amazing basses. The construction is top notch with super tight grains that feel super comfortable to play, even though they do tend to weigh in at about nine pounds or thereabouts. Uh, wall basses are classics in the high-end bass world, designed by electronics engineer Ian Waller. You know the sound of this bass from Blood Sugar Sex Magic. It was not a music man, I'm sorry. Justin Chancellor from Tool, Getty Lee from Rush, Chris Squire from Yes, Jonas Halleborg, and the list goes on and on. If you don't know those names, you really should try checking out a few. So there are a few things about the wall sound that's unique, one of which is the pickups, the second are the electronics. Now I've tried a passive wall bass and I totally loved it. The only issue there is the fact that they will cost anywhere between five and $15,000. Not really something I would want to take on tour. This made me scope out makers of a multi-coil pickup and I discovered Viejo Rotia in Finland who made me a replacement for the EMG 40s which are stock in the Spectre, which he simply calls the soap bar pickup. Although I wouldn't expect to get clean from it, the tones are pretty dirty. Okay. So I've wired it up uniquely as well. I have a stacked volume, four-way switch on each pickup for single parallel series single arrangement, and finally a Spectre tone pump preamp on the switching concentric knob to bypass the preamp so we can hear the pickups in their raw form. I just leave it bypassed. There's no preamp at all. Don't worry about it. Forget about it. It all lives in a Spectre Euro LX5 in a tight gray maple neck through body design. Body is also maple, rosewood fingerboard, brass bridge and nut, Dunlop strap lock, and it was made at the Spectre factory near Prague in the Czech Republic around 2005 or so. This runs into a Sonic Farm Tantra bass preamp with all enhancements and tone shaping turned off. That goes into the Audion ID22 for its clean conversion. Lastly, I slapped on some Dunlop Stainless Super Brights. They're awesome. All right, enough out of me, let's get to it. Thank you. 
Lastly, I slapped on some Dunlop Stainless Super Brights. They're awesome. They're awesome. They're awesome. They're awesome. They're awesome. This made me scope out the makers of a multi-coil pickup, and I discovered Viejo Rotia? Viejo Rotia. Oh, Viejo? Viejo. Viejo Rotia? Rotia? Viejo Rotia. My name is Viejo Rotia.